Last week we installed a package of bees into our bottle beehive. Let's check in and see how they're doing. It's been three days since we put the bees in the hive and it's time to do a quick check. We can see that the bees have spread out in the top bottle and are all over the frames. This is a good sign. If we look very closely in between the frames, we can see that the bees are actually beginning to draw some comb. Look at the top part of the screen and compare it to the foundation below. Here we see the queen cage. The queen is out of the cage. They've chewed through the marshmallow and the queen is not there even though there's still a few bees hanging around. And here in the bottom bottle we see that there are only a few bees who are interested in the honeycomb that we put in there. If you want to see a 13 minute video of bees coming in full of pollen, the link to an unlisted video will be in the description below. At the end of the three day inspection I removed the bottom bottle out of the stack to encourage the bees or force the bees to focus on building comb only on the five frames in the upper bottle. Okay, it's now been a week since we've put the package in the hive, and so today we're going to take a better look at the hive and we're going to add the second bottle back in the stack. We'll start by removing the insulation. The bees have been consuming a pint of sugar water a day. Because I'm following Warre principles, the next bottle is going to go below the top bottle, not on top of it. So what I'm going to do is lift that bottle straight up Put the new bottle in its place and set the bottle back down on top of it. With our opening between the bottles being less than two square inches, there's not a lot of bees that are going to bother me that way. The biggest issue is with the bees coming and going from the hive. And based on the forecast, it looks like the girls are going to have another cold week ahead. Tip of the day, as with plumbing, it is better to do this work with your mouth closed. And it was just that easy to add another bottle into the stack. We'll do some examination of the bees that are in the hive. Then I'll put the insulation back on and secure the stack against heavy winds. There is some level of comb building on all five of the frames in the top bottle. The bees seem very happy. They're collecting pollen. They're building comb, they're drinking the sugar water, it looks like they've accepted their new home.
And you'll notice we don't have a lot of bee activity going on, even though it's 2 in the afternoon. That's because it is still only 59 degrees outside. Today I'm going to remove the entrance reducer and replace it with an entrance feeder. Like so. Next step is I'm going to replace the top feeder, which right now is a two cup or pint quart feeder with a four cup or quart feeder. Changing the capacity that I have for the feeders is going to reduce the number of times that I have to change the feeding jar, which right now is daily. So this should decrease that so I don't have to change it. As you can see, the bees that came out of the top, when I removed the top feeder, very quickly flew down to the main entrance and went back in the hive through the entrance they know and love. <laughs>